talk about boxing out. All right, um, just give me eight, and then uh, one dark and one light can sit down. Uh, then the four offense, the four light, can you please get a uh, seam, seam, so it's lined with the elbows outside the three-point line, and then just below the wing, just below the wing. Uh, basketball, please. All right, so um, if it's habitual and it needs to become a habit, then it uh, it'll take months. Well, not months, but but you, you'll need like, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, the the rule of two. So you you teach it in two minutes, uh, two hours worth for them to understand, two weeks worth for them to like slowly get it, and then two months for it to become a habit. Uh, here is a favorite drill that I picked up from Robbie McKinley. It's called Augusta uh, rebounding, but I've kind of tweaked it a little bit. Uh, so here's what you're going to do. I need three people underneath the ring around the charge circle, one defense off. So one defense off, doesn't matter who. All right, so you three. Coaches, this is kind of like a shell drill, and the offense is going to work on decision making, and the defense is going to work on boxing out. This is called Augusta 4v3. So the way this works, uh, you three, you're going to face me, I'm going to bounce the ball, Every bounce, you clap. Exactly. But I could do it at any time. I'm going to throw it out to anyone. Offense, look interested. Yeah, look like basketball plays. So hands up, wrist cock back. Good. Wrist, hips down, wrist snap back. Hips lower, like you're sitting in a chair. Yeah, now you look like a basketball player. So you've got to get ready to catch. You've got the lactic acid building up, do you? Yeah, good. That's a good feeling, mate. All right, so I could throw it out to anyone. Let's walk through this. I pass it out there. Now you've got to go defensively match up. So you're closing out. You've got to close out the next pass and you're covering two. All right, so you've got to talk. Offense, you're not allowed to dribble or run or cut. Your job, you've got to pass the ball around until you find the best shot wide open because I know there's no rebounders in position. As soon as the shot goes up, defense, box out. Now, Connor, you're boxing out one versus two. So the rule with boxing out one versus two, you always prioritize to boxing out the baseline guy first. Because here's why. What is boxing out, coaches? What are we doing when we box out? Containing the player. Yeah, great, great. We're securing inside position. We need to secure inside position so we get the damn ball, right? So when we secure inside position between two, if Connor went and boxed out him, go box him out, and you came baseline, he's got inside position on him. All right? But, go back. If you decided to then do the exact same thing, box out the baseline guy, then at least we still have an inside position rebounder here who potentially has the chance to get the ball back. Okay? So, the rule is, if you get a defensive rebound... That's two points. If you get an offensive rebound, you'll go back to your spots, keep finding the best shot, no dribbles, no cuts, and then you get the O-board, that's one point. Then it's just first team to 11 or 21 or however many points. All right, let's do a walkthrough demo so you know exactly what's going on. Ball with me, ball with me. All right, so ready, switch on here. Offense, look engaged, ready? Good. Good, close out, talk. Good, talk, talk. You gotta rotate, you gotta rotate. And box out! Whoa, 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 whoa. Offense, you've got to chase boards, man. All right? All right, here we go. Start again. Well, I know that we were going to, we were going to do a walkthrough, but that, that was kind of it. All right, here we go. This is for real now. For real. Ready? Good. Be sharp, be sharp. Good. Close out. Talk. Talk. you got to rotate there. you got to rotate there. Good. Rotate. Talk. Good. Good. Oh, shots all. Oh. Good. Keep passing it. Find the best shot. Find the best shot. Box out. Get after it. D-board. 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 Good. So that's two points. Uh, switch over. So dark go to offense. Dark. And then light go to defense. And then one light off. All right. So just, uh, just a rule with the rotation. Uh, you three just match up right now. Match up right now. So ball... Uh, you're probably covering two. You're one pass away. We will never guard ball to ball. So if the ball goes there, 
you'll close out, you'll be one pass away, you'll be split line. And then if the ball goes there, then that's your close out. Yeah, then he'll cover weak side, you cover one pass away. So we'll never guard ball to ball. It'll always be low split that will rotate. All right, so ball with me. Ready? You three underneath the rim. Ready, set, good, good, go. Talk, 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 good, good. Box out, get after it, good. Um, so there's an example. There's an example of a drill that you can just keep doing over and over and over again. Uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes of training every week. And, and if we're gonna make it habitual, it's just gotta be repetitive. Repetitive and competitive and put it to a score. Because boxing out is just one of those things that kids just have to naturally do. And kids nowadays, even at the under 18s level, even at youth league level, guys just ball watching. Yeah. yeah. They just ball watch because that's just a habit and it's just something you've got to instill with your team.